Hey everyone, it's Tyson here, coming to you as Tyson for the first time. So yeah, I've usually been behind the, the shroud of a character or or something whenever I talk to you guys, but it's it's never been as me. So this is exciting and pleased to meet you. I'm the creator behind the channel. I'm definitely not the sole talent behind it. I have to I have to give mad props to all of my uh, friends and colleagues who have, who've assisted throughout this entire, I've been doing this seven years plus now. Oh my goodness, time just flies. So I'm coming to you to give you an update not only on uh, what the hiatus was about, but also the plan for the year. So I, I hit a point last year where I got one idea stuck in my head. And it was, of course, the Westworld Superstore review. And I basically vapor locked. I, I got it into my head that I needed to make this work, but I couldn't sell myself on the idea. And that's honestly the first time that's ever happened. And it scared me. So I went into it like, okay, we'll just tackle the Tusk review next instead of doing the Westworld Superstore one. And even going into Tusk, it got me very in a very self reflecting mood, which was I think the perfect one to tackle that review in, but I even had uh, one of my fans uh, through the DM ask if everything was okay after they saw the Tusk review, and I went, no, it's fine, it's, it's great, and then proceeded to not put out an episode for six months. So I was sorting through if I could actually continue to do the reviews at the caliber that I expected myself to do them. I wanted to give you guys great analysis, a compelling argument, and at the end of the day, oh, not a moral to take away, but just an observation, especially one having to do with our society at large. I love it when I can do that with one of my reviews. It, it takes such a small facet and just expands it out and makes it relatable to the world around you. And I started to doubt myself, pure and simple. It took me a long time to get over that fear, and I knew that in order to come back, I had to prove to myself that I wasn't running away from the idea, and I executed the Westworld Super Sur review. That that was a huge accomplishment. I couldn't I couldn't have seen myself actually getting it done <laughs> last uh, a, a year ago. When okay, it was about nine months ago where the idea had come up, and I just. I was like, this is a great idea, I need to do this, and then I couldn't figure out how. So now that that dam is broken, and I got that review out of my way, I'm looking forward to a whole year. I've got ideas lined up, fan suggestions that came up out of a chat that I tried to reignite some um, spark around my channel before I actually released the video by re-engaging the Facebook group, which is a small dedicated group that have been with the show for a long time, many of them. I actually opened up a chat, a group chat, and started asking them, hey, um, just so you guys know, I'm going to be putting out a new episode, and I'm curious what your guys' feedback is on the show in general. Because from YouTube comments, as sparse as they come on my videos, it's, it's really hard to gauge. I got such love and feedback. People who were excited to see this this new content coming out. Some great suggestions for what to review this year. And I even put it to them to vote on which movie Psycho should review next. And I had a whole list of, of movie choices. They came out with one that they voted in, and that was Death to Smoochie. And I looked at that and went, how in the world did you guys know? I've wanted to review Death to Smoochie since the start of, the, of Psycho's show. But I had just talked myself out of it because I thought I was the only one that actually enjoyed that in some capacity. Like, there's there's no way. This movie is just too weird. No one else is going to see it. No one else is going to see it the way that I saw it. And, and enjoy it for all its weird moments. I was completely wrong. So, I want to thank all my fans for being with me being with the show if you've been here since the start awesome if you just came on a couple years ago or many years ago equally great i i love the fact that i've got a whole captive audience here that will be will be around even if i go off on a half year 
hiatus. I, I didn't expect that. When I came back, I was expecting people to go, so you're still doing these? And, and almost dismissing me. That's not the reaction I've had at all. Uh, so we're excited um, that we're going to try and keep doing um, updates a lot more regularly. I'm hoping for once a week. So far I've kept to it if you count this update video, but um, the next review, Death to Smoochie, is going to be released, if not next week, then sometime by mid-March. And I'm hoping to keep rolling the DM recalls. Thank you guys for the positive feedback on the animations. It's been a challenge to try and figure out how to get that done, but uh, I'm glad the results are worth it. it. I feel it really enhances the storytelling, and is going to make a, a lot more of an impression. We're also going to be launching a, a new segment here, um, probably in April, where uh, we're going to be actually tackling some tabletop role-playing sessions. Not just recounting them, just showing them. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that right now, whether it be the whole length or 20-minute episodes of, a, of one particular session. I, I will see. We'll play with the formula a bit before we put anything on the channel, but I'm really looking forward. This upcoming year is going to be awesome. I've got a lot of stuff planned, and I can't wait to show you guys everything once it's completed. So, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.